recording the class. Welcome to basic eight. Where are the other classmates? Okay, what happened? Let me start sharing my screen. Oh, now I can't share. What is happening? Hmm. Okay, I don't know what is happening with my with my laptop right now, but I can share like my PDF, just my PDF. Okay. okay, so as you can see, we are working with a new material today. We have a new book called um, this is the Pioneer Elementary. Okay, this is our new book. We're going to be working with this uh, with module five and module six. Okay, remember that in basic um, six and seven, we called, uh, well, you need six and seven, you need uh, eight and nine. Okay, we are going to be using module, not unit anymore. Okay, so we're going to start with module five. What's new? Okay, remember that we have also our war book. So you can see I'm going to leave you, to give you um, homework for the weekend. Well, next week, actually. Okay, let's start. We have new topics here. We're going to discuss um, how do you share your news with other people, you're going to look at the means of communication. As you can see here in the pictures, we have a internet, social media, and email. We also have TV, radio, telephone, in person, or face-to-face. -face. Also, we have newspaper. What else? Uh, we're going to be discussing how do you get information about the following? international news, a close friend's news, a distant relative's news, sport news, local news, um, university news, entertainment news, all of these topics, okay? Maybe we are going to discuss this when we are done with this module, okay? Because we need to first study vocabulary so that you can start talking about this. And the last is how, do you, how does technology help you communicate? Very easy, right? We all have technology, our cell phones, computers. Okay, in this model, you will learn, well, we will learn to talk about things that are happening now, to talk about temporary situations, to talk about the future plans and arrangements, to locate information on posters and flyers, language common in telephone conversations, to ask for, give and refuse permission, to make offers, request, and ask for favors, to distinguish between habitual actions and things that are happening now to read and write notes and messages, to give news and respond to other people's news, to write an email giving news. And finally, we have set phrases for informal letters for emails. All right. Once I said this, I think we're ready to start. Let me start sharing my... Um, the sound, okay, because 
<laughs> now we have listening, we have the audios. Remember that in basic um, six and seven, we didn't have audios. Okay, now we have. And before we start, I would like you, I would like to tell you that uh, these audios are going to be in a British accent because this um, this book is a British book. So we're going to be listening to British accent a lot. Give me a second, I'm trying to find my the audios for this module. Okay, this is Piano Elementary. Teacher. Yes, um, Carla. Uh, va, sí, ahora se va a trabajar con otro libro. Yes, it's a new book. Let me take a picture of the assistant. <laughs> All right. Yes, it's a new book. It's called um, Piano Elementary. You didn't know about that? No sabían eso? I thought, you had, I thought you had the information. Pensé que ya les habían informado que íbamos a trabajar con otro libro. No, la señorita que le habla por WhatsApp no da información. Oh, ok. Now it's a, your first time listening about this information. Yes, we're going to be using a whole different book. And it's going to be um, kind of like a British... British book because it's from M and M publication, something like that. When I studied English, I also had this, um, not this book, but this, uh, like the author of the books that I work with were from the UK, so it was British. It's a good one though, so don't be scared. Okay, now we're going to share the audio. El libro británico, profesora? That's right. It's British. <laughs> or Pero, British. O sea, vamos a aprender el inglés británico, ya no el americano? Um, we have kind of like a dilemma here. I don't know if you want me to use the British accent or the American. Do you feel comfortable using the American or the British? Yo because I can use both if you want. You want the American? Sí, yo quisiera el americano porque el eh, yo estuve en el británico, pero en lo que estoy haciendo no me favorece. Entonces por eso quería el americano. Okay. Yes. Okay, so what do you think? Um, yes, I accept. Tell me. I feel comfortable with both. Oh, you're you're good with both. Okay, no problem. What about um, Nicole? What about Carlos? American or British? <laughs> okay, no comment. Okay, then um, I think we can work with the American, right? Because I feel comfortable with the American too. I studied both, to be honest, but I feel comfortable with American. Okay, American, says Carlos. Okay, but remember that the audios are going to be in British accent. So you have to make an effort to, to understand. Okay, American, excellent. Module five. Yes, sir. What's new? Internet, social media, and email. TV, radio. In person, international news, a close friend's news, a distant relative's news, sports news, local news, university news, entertainment news. Okay. All right. Mm. So this was the first part. Let's go with the reading now, okay? It says, listen and read. Where do the people decide to go? Look at the posters from A to D on the right and answer the questions. First, we're going to listen to 
this conversation. Then we'll check it. 5A. One. Reading. What are you reading, Jill? The What's Happening This Weekend section. Anything good? Well, Plastic Domino are playing at the Everglades Stadium. I'm not a big fan. Anything else? OK, let's listen to the next part. A new exhibition about butterflies and an interesting lecture, a night run and, of course, the ballet at the Palace Theatre. Let's go there. I don't know. What's that night run about? Um, a three-mile run taking place on Saturday. Sounds like fun. OK, let's call the others and see if they're free. Hey, you listen to the accent, right? Which I don't get accent. It's definitely British. OK, you may be wondering, where are the posters? ¿Dónde están los posters que menciono? OK, están aquí. Voy a hacer un poquito más así. OK. Tenemos aquí poster eh, A, B, and then we have, oh, we have C and D. Can you see that? I think it's better this way. I think it's better this way. Yes. Okay. Let's start. First, do you have Questions about the meaning of some words. Maybe you don't you don't know um, the meaning of something. Let me. Profesora. Of course. Todos los nombres van a ser británicos. Yes, Carla, because this material is from the UK. Y lo que so usted va the a enseñar... are going to be in British. ¿Y lo que usted va a enseñar va a ser el británico o va a ser el americano? You told me that you wanted to, to use the, the American, so we're going to talk in American. Ok, lo único que va a ser en británico, me acaban de decir que la mayoría quiere utilizar el americano. Ok, perfecto. Yo también me siento más con el americano. Lo único que va a ser en, en británico van a ser los audios. No hay forma de poder cambiarlo porque el material con el que estamos trabajando es de Reino Unido. Ok, entonces sí va a, ser, va a tener que ser eh, británico. All entonces, right. si hay algunas palabras que no se pronuncia, o sea, le pido a usted, le pregunto cómo realmente se pronuncia en americano. Sí, la pronunciación, sí saben cómo va el, el acento británico, que es un poquito más... Eh, más pesado que el americano, pero no hay problema si me preguntan eh, la pronunciación cómo se dice en americano y I'm going to show you, ok? <laughs> no problem. Ok, just about this conversation, the reading part. No. Ok, so I think we can start with B. It says, read the information on posters and answer the questions. Okay, let's see first the questions. Okay, and then we're going to see the concert. How can you get tickets for the concert? Two, which event is free? Next one, what's the run end? On which days can you go to the ballet performance? What does the Hebrew Running Club give to runners? Where is the lecture taking place? How much does a couple need to pay for the ballot performance? What time do runners need to be at Western Lake? Okay. Now let's check. Do you have um, the material? Do you have the book in your laptop maybe? No. Or not yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. What a pity. Okay, let's, let's work with what we have. Okay, number one, um, how can you get tickets for the concert? Mm, you're talking about concert, I think it's this one. Yes. Okay, who would like to answer the first one? Guys, who would like to answer the first one? 
how do you get or how can you get tickets for the concert? Number one. A ticket office. A ticket office, that's right. One, two, and five, Rosemary. Or online at www.evergladeconcerts.com. Yes, this is number one. Okay, a ticket one. What about the next one? Which event is free? Free, which event is free? Let me show you. We have this Palace Theater. You can check. Okay. Oh, sorry. Which one is free? A. A. B. C. Or D. Which one is free? D. D or B? D. D, this one, Carla. Are you sure? Mm, o sea, que es, libre, que es gratis? Yes, it's free. Okay. D. And also... Um, Yes, ah, no, es la esa. Es la B. Yes, but we have to be careful. It says free torches and t-shirts. Están dando eh, antorchas y polos gratis, pero la entrada no es gratis. La entrada es only 10 pounds. You see? It was a tricky question. Entonces, it's letter D. Why? Look here, no entrance fee, ok? No se paga por entrada. Queda entender que es en gratis. It's for free. What about C? Is it free? Ok, no, because we have the tickets here. No, it's not free. What about A? No, definitely not. Ok, three, where does the run end? Where is the run? I think it's B, right? B. When does the run end? In Reynal Park? Reynal Park, yes. Three mile run from Western Lake to Reynal Park. That's right. This is three. Very good. Okay, what about four? On which days can you go to the ballet performance? That is poster A, let me help you. On Wednesday and Sunday. Yes, Wednesdays and Sundays, four. All right, um, next one, five. What does the Hebrew Running Club give to runners. Hayburn Running Club. Which one is that? Okay, it's this one. Poster B. What does the Hayburn Running Club give to runners? Free torches and t shirts. That's right, free torches and t-shirts. That is five. Okay. What about six? Where is the lecture taking place? The lecture is, this is a concert. Okay, I think it's this one. Exhibition. Are we talking about the posters? for this lecture. Where, where is the lecture taking place? Is it poster A, 
B, C, or D? A. A. Are you sure this? B. I think this is a performance. You see, it's a performance. B. Hmm. This is B. a lecture. Are you sure? B. This one? D. D. Oh, D. Sorry. I'm deaf. I'm a little bit deaf. <laughs> okay, D. But it says where? Where? Place. Where? Natural History Lecture Hall. Again? Natural History Lecture Hall. <laughs> That's right. Natural History Lecture Hall venue, right? Okay, that was six, I think. Okay, what about um, seven? How much does a couple need to pay for the ballot performance? Ballot performance. This is the ballot performance. How much does a couple needs to pay for the for this performance? I forgot the name. Oh, the ballot performance. Forty-six pounds. Forty-six pounds. That's right. You see here the tickets. This is the price. Twenty-three um, pounds plus one plus uno un ticket más. 46, that's right. So let's put here 46, it's seven, right? Yes. Let's continue. Okay, the last one. What time do runners need to be at Weston Lake? Uh, Weston Lake, it's, which one is Weston Lake? This is not right. Western Lake. Yes, it's this one. What time do runners need to be at Western Lake? It's been six. Are you sure? Six or seven? Seven, but beer and our ale. That's right. Look here. It says, but be there an hour earlier. So it's 6, 6 p.m. That's right. Very good. That is 8. Excellent. Okay. Now let's go uh, with the next one. It's C. Let me make. Zoom a bit. Okay. Look at the words or phrases from one to ten from the posters and match them with their meanings from A to D. Okay, price. Let's check poster B. Price. Price. What is price? Okay, first price. First price. Look here. What do you think it means? A, look at the meaning. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, or G. Price, what is the meaning of price? No idea? You want me to help you? Something you win in a competition, right? Something you win in a competition or race. That's right. B. In this case, it's 300 pounds. Okay. Two, spectator, poster B. Spectators, welcome. Okay, we have P, spectators.
ideas. Okay, let's check. Someone who watches a sporting event. That's right, D. Someone who watches a sporting event. Three, venue. It's Foster C. Let's see. Okay. Look here. Everglade Stadium. What do you think it means? Venue. All right. Okay, let's check. F says Carlos, the place where an event happens. That's right. F. All right, four, stage. Foster C, stage, stage. Okay, be the first to see them perform on stage. On stage. See, that's right. See, an area usually in a theater where performers like actors, singers, etc. perform. Very good. Five, daily. Foster D. Daily, daily. Where is daily? Okay, here. Opening hours daily from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Daily. Every day. Every day. Very easy, right? Every day. Daily. Um, what about in advance? That is imposter D. In advance, where is that? Mm. Oh, here. Call in advance. Call in advance. <laughs> Call in advance. A or D? A or D? D. Very good. D. Before you go in advance, don't forget to come in advance or to tell me in advance. Con anterioridad. Okay. And that is so easy, right? Seven. A. Entrance fee. Money that you pay to enter a place. Okay. Mm, discuss. Which event would you like to attend and why? Okay, I need two volunteers. Just two volunteers. Let's try to practice speaking, okay? That is the whole point here of learning English so that you can become fluent. Okay, I need two volunteers, just two. Next, I can ask another two. So the question is, which event would you like to attend and why? The reason. Okay, would you like to get to get participation points for your final mark? You don't need them. Okay, no volunteers. Who's being quiet? Hmm, what about Nicole? What about Nicole? Um, Carlos. Carla, maybe she's always always participating. No, just very easy. Tell me which um, to which event would you like to go, and the reason maybe because you like I don't know concerts, you like exhibitions, you like um, I don't know sports, you you like free stuff. <laughs> I don't know, there are so many reasons. Come on, okay, I'm going to ask. Um, it's very complicated. Okay, 
Aixa, please give me a hand with this one. I like uh, to attend uh, the ballet course because I like the ballet and it's a quiet event. Okay, you would like to attend to the night run I heard. Which one? Sorry, I couldn't hear. Which one? Again, please. Of course, I'm probably. Oh, okay. The first one, right? The A, the ballet performance. Yes, the first one. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. What about Carlos? Which event would you like to attend and why? Give me the reason. Can you turn on your microphone, please? Okay, you typed it. B, okay, but please turn on your microphone so that we can hear you. Remember that is speaking, we're trying to, to practice speaking. Just very short answer, like Aixa gave me. Just like that, very simple, because we don't have much time. Come on. Because it's funny. Because it's funny. Okay, you find, you find Poster B, this activity, the Hebrew Running Club, the Night Run, very funny. Maybe you like this kind of stuff. Okay, it's possible. Thank you guys. Just very easy. I don't want like a whole conversation because we don't have <clears throat> we don't have much time to do that. Maybe in the exam. So not now. Now let's move on to grammar. We have the present progressive. I think this is very easy for you. Um, if I am not uh, wrong or mistaken, I've seen this grammar with Carla and Carlos in basic. Uh, seven, right? We saw this grammar, right, Carla? Can you let me know? In basic seven, last month. I think we did, if I'm not wrong. Okay, this grammar is called the present progressive. Okay, we're going first to read some examples and then I'm going to introduce you um, the grammar in case you don't know it yet. Okay, read examples. What do you notice about the formation of the present progressive? We have uh, the first point, it says, I'm checking my email and the children are watching TV at the moment. The next one, Jenny isn't going to the cinema next Saturday. She is going tonight. Are you planning or playing, sorry, cricket tomorrow? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is Frank studying history at university? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. This is for positive and this is for negative, of course. Okay, that's very obvious. Okay, so please give me your answers. What do you notice about the formation of the present progressive? What do you think, where is the grammar in these sentences? How is it formed? Como esta formado? Ideas, look here, we have examples. Subject, verbo to be. Mm -hmm. Verbo to ENG. With the ING, right? Yes, that's right. You, you see here the ING, the ING, the verb, the verb to be, and the ING, ING here too, the ING too. Okay, there are more things that we have to learn about the present progressive. For example, I prepared here my um, presentation, PowerPoint. We have grammar, present progressive. 
when do we use, or in which cases, we use the present progressive? Do we have time? Yes. Uh, first, we use it to, when we want to talk about actions, actions that are happening at the moment of speaking, okay? While you are speaking, you can use the ING or the present progressive, okay? For example, Peter is reading a book now, at the moment, now. Also, we can use the present progressive when we want to talk about fixed plans in the near future. For example, we are going to Basel on Saturday. On Saturday. Saturday, it's not now. For example, today is Friday, right? Tomorrow is Saturday. So we are talking about the near future. Tomorrow. In this case, Saturday. We are going. We are going. This is a plan. Something that you are planning to do. Algo que estás planeando hacer en el futuro. Okay, we are going to Basel or we are going to watch, I don't know, uh, Spider-Man, Batman to the cinema on Saturday. Okay, plans. Temporary actions for actions. I am working in Rome this month. Just this month, okay? Temporary, just for maybe one month, two months, but right after that, I'm not working in Rome anymore. Okay, I'm working in Rome this month. Actions happening around the moment of speaking, but for longer actions. My friend is preparing for his exams. You see here, also the ING is, Something that is happening. Oh, what happened here? Around the moment of speaking. Okay, let's say um, Jennifer is studying for her math exam. Or my mom is cooking something for dinner. Or my mom is, I don't know, um, going to work the whole week. You see what I mean? Something that it's going to take longer time. Next, we have trends. More and more people are using their computers to listen to music. Okay, something that it's uh, becoming very common day by day. Day by day passes. It means that more and more people are using, I don't know, maybe TikTok, are using Instagram, using Twitter, some things like that, okay? I'm guessing you know the meaning of trends is very obvious now in these days. So you can use the ING in these type of um, cases. Okay, and the last one, we have four repeated actions, which are irritating to the speaker. Like always, we have constantly and forever. For example, when we, refer, we are referring to irritating things to the speaker. In this, in this example, we have Andrew is always coming late. It's very annoying. It's very irritating. Something that you can't stand. Algo que no puede soportar. Okay, in este caso, Andrew is always, you see here, always, and we have always, constantly. Andrew is constantly coming late. All right. And what else? Okay, before we go with examples, do we have examples? Yes. I would like to give you the signal words. What does this mean, signal words? These are words that you have to check uh, in the sentences to make sure that you have to use the present progressive, okay? If the sentence have, maybe you have in the sentence now, for example, here, I think the first one. You see here, now, time, at the moment. Peter is reading a book now. When I see now, I know that I have to use the present progressive or the ing. What else? 
at the moment. Look. Look, I don't know, look. Um, um, give me an example. I have no idea. Look, um, she is <laughs> she's falling from the stairs. Está cayendo las escaleras. Look, she's falling from the stairs. Okay, sorry about that sentence. And I have more options. <laughs> Look. Look. She is falling from the stairs. Okay, se está cayendo las escaleras. Okay. You know that you have to add the ing to the to the verb fall. Listen. We have listen. What else? Let's talk about now about the form. How is it? How is this um, grammar form? We have to be, okay, I think um, Isa said that, very good. We have to be, am, um, are, is, plus the infinitive, which means, I don't know, the verb in this case, fall, and the ing, the ing, Falling. All right. Is that clear? Yes. Do you have questions about about this grammar? This is very easy. You just have to add um, the v, the infinitive, the and the ing. Okay. Questions. Questions. Um, Carlos, Carla, Aixa, Nicole. Questions, comments? No. no. Okay, everything clear. Let's continue now. Let me know, please, if you have questions. I'm going to explain that to you. We have examples. Remember, okay. I think first we are checking the. Um, I think first we are checking the. Okay, no. I think we have to check the whole thing. Yes, I'm going to check the whole thing. That's right. Okay, we're going to finish with this. We have examples. We have affirmative sentences. We have negative sentences and also questions. Okay, first let's check the affirmative. In long forms, okay, long forms. I am playing football. Contracted forms. What does it mean when you say or when you see contracted forms? Look here. I'm playing football. Instead of I am playing football. You see here the difference with this sign and just the M. So you don't you don't use the A anymore here in the contracted form. Okay, next one. You are playing football or you're playing football. He is playing football. He's playing football. There's also a difference in the pronunciation, okay? Not, not just in the written form. No solo en la escritura, sino también en la pronunciación. What else? That is the affirmative. We have the negative sentences. In long forms, I'm not playing football. Contracted form, I'm not playing football. You are not playing football. You're not playing football. Or you aren't playing football. Okay, here you have two options. One and two. What about the next one? He's not playing football. He's not playing football. Or he isn't playing football. Questions. Am I playing football? Are you playing football? Is he, is she playing football? And we don't have contracted forms in this case, okay? It's not possible. So just in long forms. Just when we talk about questions, there is no contracted form, okay? So that would be it about the, oh, about the present progressive. Okay, questions? Can we move on here? with the, the exercises. Okay. We have uh, B. Who would like to participate here? 
What does the present progressive refer to? Much. Ryan is sleeping at the moment. Ryan is sleeping at the moment. Who knows the answer? A, B, or C? It refers to the future. It refers to something happening now. Yes, who said the answer? I think Aisa. Come on, one more time, please. C, it refers to a temporary state. To a temporary state. That's right, this is C. At the moment. Because Ryan's not going to sleep the whole time unless he's there, right? <laughs> Okay, let's continue. I'm staying with some friends in Oxford for a few weeks. For a few weeks. B. B, okay. See, there's kind of like a mistake right there. Okay, we're going to check that. No, I say. No, I say. Yes, that's right, Carla. That's right. This is C. Why? Porque es algo temporal. El arriba es Yes, B. it's something for a few weeks, right? It's not for the end of their life. And three, we are having a party this weekend. Very easy. This weekend, it means future. So it's a uh, it for the future. A, that's right. Okay. Okay, we're not going to do this because we are not in a face-to-face -face class. So it's, it's very complicated to do that. Uh, D, complete the dialogues with the present progressive of the verbs in brackets. Okay, is your brother at work? No, he isn't. He not work this week. He isn't working. He isn't working. He isn't working this week. At the moment, he's in his room. He on the phone. Talking. He, what else? He's or talking. he is talking. Okay. Okay, the next one. What you, very easy. What are you cooking? What are? Mm, that's right. That's right. What are you here doing? Doing. That's right. Doing. I. The verb is cook. How would you put that in present progressive? I'm cooking. I am cooking, that's right, I am cooking. That's a lot of food. Well, my cousin's over for dinner tonight. My cousins are coming. Are coming. Are coming over for dinner tonight. So I, lots of different things. I am making. I am or I'm making. Mm, let me this. Lots of different things. Let me help you then. Three, my school has sports day next month. Is organizing. It's organizing. Okay, I have something to put here. I have to in my notes. What was the difference? Okay. 
here we have the BS, right? And you wanted to use the American. So it won't be with the, with the S. It will be with the, um, with the Z. You know the difference, right? Look here. Organize with S and organize with Z. When we have organized with S is the British one, okay, from the UK. But if we have the organized, we have organized like this from the US. Okay, so we are not going to use uh, with the S because you want to use the American one, right? So just something to, to let you know. Okay, my school is organizing a sports day next month. Really? You and your friends? Okay, we have take part. We have take part. Are, are you and your friends taking part? Taking part. Are you and your friends taking part? My friends, but I am. I'm good at sports. Teacher, ¿qué significa taking part? Participar. ¿Van a participar o vas a participar con tus amigos? Gracias, profesora. All right. My friends, not take part. Okay, now in negative. Aren't mm -hmm. taking part. Are in taking part. Let me move this here. Okay. My friends aren't taking part, but I am. I'm good at sports. All right, pronunciation. Do you want to do the pronunciation? Remember that if we want to talk about pronunciation, it's going to be British. I don't know if you want to listen to this part. Yes, you want me to put the audio? Yes. Okay, just to notice the pronunciation, okay? Three, pronunciation. A. Fan. Ballet. Lamp. Actor. Fun. Become. Runner. Couple, far, party, dark, large. Okay, you see that was the British accent. Okay, in American, how would it be? Fan, ballet, lamp, actor, not actor. It, that is in British, okay, actor. Fun, become, runner, couple. Bar, party, dark, large. Okay, that is the difference. When you have this, it's um, referring in the majority of times of the British accent. That is part of the pronunciation that they have. Okay, that would they put that in schools, also in institutes, but we are going to use the American one, so we don't need that. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're not going to do this. The speaking, okay, no, the speaking. Just to point out something real quick here. Okay, what are you doing this weekend? I haven't got any plans. I haven't got any plans. This is the UK in the British accent. In American, how will you use? Okay, that is possible in American too. I haven't got any plans. Okay, that's correct. But Americans usually use, I don't have, okay? I don't have any plans. Instead of, I haven't got. This haven't got, it's used in the UK. This is more used in the American. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Carla. Pero... 
en el americano también lleva el haven, ¿no? Sí, es parte, este haven got es una gramática también, ¿sí? Si lo vamos a más, más a fondo, más detallado, es una gramática. Pero cuando los, los, perdón, los británicos se quieren referir a que no tienen tal vez, por ejemplo, están describiendo a una persona. Eh, she, she hasn't got blue eyes. En vez de, o en lugar del americano que sería, she doesn't have blue eyes. Es correcto el haven't got, pero solo estoy eh, mostrando las diferencias cuál se utiliza en el en UK y en US. Ok, en the US don't have, y en UK haven't got, or hasn't got, dependiendo de, del pronombre. Ok, now we have reading. The phrases below are common in telephone conversations. What do you think says each phrase? Write C for color, R for person receiving the call, or B for both, por ambos, ok? Uh, do you want me to do this with you or you want me to give you time to do this? Remember that you have to read these phrases and put here if it's C for color, R for receiving the call, or B for both, alone or together. Together. Okay, together. <laughs> Let's start. It's team calling. C, R, or B? C. R. C. R. Hmm. It's team calling. Okay, I'm going to call Carla. Hi, is this Carla? Say whatever you want, Carla. Yes, it is, something like that. Okay, it's my calling. I am the caller or the person receiving the call? The caller. The caller, that's right. Who's calling? Who's calling, says Carla? R. R, R that's right. The person receiving the call. This is Dian. Okay. C, R, or B? C, both? C, both. That's right. Ambos pueden decir, ¿cierto? This is Dian. De repente, la persona que está llamando se presenta. This is, no sé, en este caso, this is Myra. O la persona que recibe la llamada, this is, no sé, eh, Carlos. Ok, entonces ambos, both. Can I speak to Maria, please? Sí. Sí. Sí, that's right. Hold on a minute. Let me check. R. 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 Is John there, please? Sí. Sí. sí, that's right. Go back later, okay? R. R. Can I leave a message? Can I leave a message? Sí. Sí. Speaking. Just speaking. We're going to check that later. Okay, yes, both, very good, both. Just a sec, I'll get him. R. 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 Who's this? R? No, both. <laughs> both, that's both. right. Sí, no, porque hay personas que a veces llaman y preguntan. ¿Con quién estoy hablando? Okay, very good. Who's this? Um, I think we have an audio about this. Do you want to listen to this? Let me check. Number two. B. Sun. Garden. No, this is not. Happy. 
5b. 1. Reading. 3a. Hello? Hey, Andrew. This is John. Can I talk to your brother? Steve's not here, but he's coming over in a little while. Yeah? Can you tell him to call me when he gets in? Sure. Don't forget. Thanks. Ok, sí. No hay audio. Esta señal de audio hace referencia a lo que está aquí, lo que vamos a ver ahorita. B. Ok, primero quiero darles unos segundos para que pongan en orden. Sí, es una secuencia de conversaciones en teléfono, como pudieron escuchar. Pero están en desorden. Tienen que ver cuál va primero. De repente, number one es C, B, is two, three, and four. Tienen que ordenarlo, ok? It says, read and put the dialogues in order. Then listen and check your answers. Ok, por eso que primero tienen que ordenarlo y luego vamos a escuchar el audio. Ok, this is very easy. Mm, no tenemos tiempo. Ok. Five minutes, ok? Cinco minutos para que lo resuelvan. O antes, voy a llamarlos. Y, ok, luego escuchamos el audio. Let me put that here. Okay, I think it's better. All right, five minutes. We don't have much time. Okay, ready? A, is it one, two, three, or four? Three. 
three. Hello. Hey, Andrew. This is John. Very good. B. Hello. Hello. One. One. That's right. C. Four. Four. And D. Two. Two. Very good. Okay. Yes, Nicole, that's right. Okay, now I think we can listen to the audio. I love working. 5B. One, reading. 3A. Hello? Hey, Andrew, this is John. Can I talk to your brother? Steve's not here, but he's coming over in a little while. Yeah? Can you tell him to call me when he gets in? Sure. Don't forget. Thanks. 1B. Hello? Hello, Mrs Collins. Is Steve there, please? I'm afraid not. Uh, who's calling? It's John Powell from work. Oh, hello, John. Call him on his mobile. There's something wrong with it. The line's busy all the time. Well, try his father's office. He sometimes goes there on Saturdays. Have you got the number? No, I haven't. Can you give it to me? Of course. It's 0153-989-0763. Thank you very much. Bye. Wait, okay, let's move on. Let's see. Four C. Steve, finally. Hi, John. There you are. What's up? Listen, I need a favour. Can I borrow your car? I need to take a friend to the airport this evening. Sure, no problem. Let's meet at my place in a couple of hours. OK, thanks. See ya. Two D. Hello, how can I help you? Is Mr Collins there? Yes, speaking. It's John Powell calling. Is Steve there, please? Hello, John. No, I think he's at his brother's place. Try there. Thank you. OK, me parece que todo está bien. Everything was correct. 3A, B1, uh, 4C and 2D. I wanted to point something out really quick. When you are um, giving numbers, phone numbers, and you have, well, zeros in your number, for example, nine, three. Okay. You don't say, normally, you don't say nine. Okay, it's nine, zero, three, one, two, and five. This O, it's just like the letter, like the letter O, okay? It's not like a zero. It's more like an O. That's why they pronounce it here. O, one, five, three, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, just for the record. <laughs> All right. Um, I think we don't have enough time. Okay. I want to do C very quick, please. It says, read the dialogues again and answer the questions. In which dialogues? John, is John asking to speak to Steve? Dialogue A, B, C, or D? To speak to Steve. Hmm. Which one? Okay, I know which one. In which dialogue? Guys, come on, it's very easy. I just saw the answer. A, B, C, or D? Again? A, B, and D. A, okay, yes, A. And also, there's one more. 
there's one more. Okay, A, very good. B and D. B and D. Okay, B, where is this part? Is Steve there? Is Steve there? Yes. In which dialogue is John leaving a message? Okay, this is the last one. No, right after that we are over with the class. Leaving a message. Hmm. A. A, can you tell him to call me when he gets in? Okay, A. He's calling. Um, Yes, I think that's the right answer. Just A. Yes, that's right. We're going to do this on Monday, okay? Don't forget to be on time because on Monday I'm going to leave uh, to give you homework, okay? Do you have the material of the class? Let me know if you have the material of the class. No, no, you don't. What about Nicole, Carlos, Eso, Carlos? El profesor avisa dónde está, en la plataforma, ¿no? Para descargarlo. Sí, me dice que está en la plataforma, pero... Pero yo todavía no tengo acceso al básico, al curso de básico 8. No sé si ustedes ya tienen acceso a la plataforma. Quiero asegurarme si ya tienen acceso. Sí, okay, sí. Pero, uh, y uno de básico 7 que no nos han actualizado la plataforma aún. Oh, no las han actualizado. Sí, porque a mí tampoco me sale de ninguno de mis otros alumnos. Aún no tengo acceso. Ok. Sí, voy a hablar con la señorita Kelly para que, para que pueda solucionar eso rápido porque tienen que descargar el material, sobre todo el workbook. Ok, what else, what else? Um, yes, I think that's all. Okay, guys, so the class is over. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you on Monday. Okay, have a great weekend. Take care. Bye. 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 Thank